by 2040, 2050, there could be as much as 250 million metric tons of plastics in the ocean. Well, plastic is a fascinating material. It's, um, it's really only 65 years old, um, but now uh, we produce more plastic than all the major metals, excluding steel together, globally producing on the order of 280, 290 million metric tons of plastic every year. Plastic is um, very unique uh, in that it's, uh, it doesn't really decompose, it doesn't biodegrade, it's, it's very long lasting unless you incinerate it, so a considerable amount of plastic is uh, incinerated, um, or you recycle it to use it multiple times, it basically ends up either in landfills or in the environment. Where does the plastic go? Where does it end up? And um, the, the true answer is we don't really know. There, um, some plastics float in the ocean, so they are visible on the surface, and they tend to accumulate in so-called uh, gyres, so in the patches where the, the currents sort of go around in a circle. So that's the most visible, but the vast majority of plastic is not in the gyres and is, you know, probably a, a large percentage is actually on the, on the ocean floor. So we actually came up with the first estimate of how much plastic actually enters the oceans every year. And um, our midpoint estimate is 8 million metric tons, so much, much more than is actually visible in the oceans. And we think it could be anywhere from four to 12 million metric tons. Imagine the island of Manhattan. Um, so with eight million metric tons of uh, plastics packaging, you could cover the entire island of Manhattan multiple times. Um, of the floating marine debris, um, the vast majority is actually tiny, larger than, um, say, a, a grain of rice. And what happens is that those were probably at one point larger objects, maybe packaging, but the uh, combined actions of the salt water and the ultraviolet light, the sunlight, breaks the plastic down into ever smaller pieces without actually decomposing it. So it's still plastics, it's just smaller and smaller pieces. Entanglement is, of course, an issue of the fishing nets and, and plastic bags and, and larger pieces of plastic. Those tiny pieces, they are of real environmental concern because they are uh, mistaken as food by krill, uh, for example, which is you know, the, the food source for all the other trophic levels in, in, uh, of marine organisms. As the small organisms eat the plastic and then the bigger organisms eat the small organisms, eventually it'll end up actually on our plates when we uh, eat seafood. So if you think that 8 million metric tons of plastics entering the ocean every year is a lot, um, it's only going to get worse. If we don't address this issue now, we believe that by 2040, 2050, there could be as much as 250 million metric tons of plastics in the ocean. So if we don't turn off the tap, um, it'll just, the plastic will just keep coming into the ocean. So I think it's really an issue of preventing the plastic from entering the ocean in the first place. So how do you prevent plastics from entering the oceans in the first place? It, it depends where you are. In the United States, uh, it, we believe that the major source um, for plastics in the ocean is actually littering. So you would have to address the issue of littering. Um, in emerging economies, um, like in Asia, um, we believe it's actually the lack of good um, waste management infrastructure. There, an, an obvious way to, to really diminish the amount of plastic entering the ocean would be big investments into waste management infrastructure. So if you're wondering what you can do about plastic marine debris, 
um, and you're here in the US and the vast majority of plastic is from littering, then obviously don't litter. Um, take all the plastic that you bring to the ocean and to the beach uh, with, with you again. Make sure it either gets recycled or at least gets landfilled. And um, think about just using less plastic in your daily life. The issue of plastic marine debris is enormous, but I do think that we can solve it. Humans have a substantial track record of causing large environmental problems, but we're also starting to build a track record of solving them. You can't manage what you don't measure, so our study marks a first step towards solving the problem of plastic marine debris.